Hey everyone, it's Tamara with Tamara S Designs, and I am going to um, do this real quick tutorial on how to separate uh, the Monogramos font in Cricut Design Space. And uh, if you're not familiar with that font, you will be. Whenever I type it in, you'll see which one I'm talking about. Um, so go ahead and pull up a Cricut Design Space blank project, and we're going to go to Add Text, and I'm going to use a uh, I always make mine all caps when I'm doing a monogram, so I'm going to use TSD for Tamara S Designs. And that'll pop up there. Then you'll want to go to Edit and go to your um, System Fonts. And I'm just going to search for the Monogramos. And there it is. Now, um, with this with this font, if you are to type in all caps, you're going to have a dark background with white letters. Um, if you type in all lowercase, which is actually what I should have did, um, you're going to have, you're not going to have a background on it, which is actually what we want. So ooh, let me delete this. So when you get that typed in, you're going to have your font here. So what we want to do is we want to create a circle monogram, right? But all of these letters are connected. Um, but we want to have a T on one side, an S in the middle, and a D on the other side so we can make our monogram. What we have to do is go in and ungroup this uh, font. That's going to give us uh, all of these. It's going to separate all these for us. Um, and then what we need to do is go in and grab some shapes. So we're going to, I'm just going to bring in a couple of squares and I'm just going to duplicate them. I think we need four squares total to do this. So I only need one right now. What we're going to do is we're going to take the first um, part of your monogram. We're going to put the square right over these other two T's that we do not need. We're going to highlight both of those. And then we're going to click Sliced. And it'll take a minute. And then what we'll do is we'll X out, then we can take this out and take this out. And then we have our left hand side of our monogram. Then we're going to get our middle letter. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a square on one side of the monogram, select it all, click slice. This is super easy once you all start getting in here and doing this. Oh, look, there we go. Take that part off. And then we'll take another square and we'll have to bring this one to the front. So click Arrange, Move to Front. And we're going to um, overlap the first S. And just make sure that you're leaving that little gap here so that it doesn't take away part of your letter that you're keeping. So highlight all of that. Click Slice. delete these pieces that we don't need. This is this is actually way easier and quicker in Inkscape, believe it or not. Um, that's where I usually do these at, but I know everybody isn't super familiar with Inkscape, so I'm doing it in Design Space. And then for our last part of our monogram, the D, we're going to take this last square, cover up the ones we don't need, select all, and hit Slice take away these letters we don't need and then there's our separate D so now we can put these all together and you'll kind of just have to eyeball it line it up uh, and actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna unlock the proportions on this and I'm gonna drag this down because I want it to look like a full circle so I don't want my edges to be off. Ooh, yeah. Okay, good. So you see how my edges are lining up now all the way around and going in a circle? So once I've done that, I'll just select all of these. And I'm actually just going to click Weld because they're all just going to stay the same color. And there you go. You've got your circle monogram made from the Monogramos font. Um, if you were to click go, 
it is going to transfer over to your mat and this is exactly how it's going to cut out for you to use as a vinyl decal or sign stencil whatever you want to use it for um, so let me know if you have any questions uh, you can leave a comment on the video you could also visit my Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash Tamara S. Designs, um, or my website, Tamara S. Designs.com. Um, there's a contact me form on there if you want to submit questions. And um, I will try to post the link to this video on my site. My site is brand new, so I'm still working on getting to learn it and getting everything set up on it. Um, but once I do, I'll try to get this link to this video posted on there. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. You all have a good day. Thanks for watching.